Second year players poised for a big leap in 2022. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a magnificent day. The obvious one here is Trevor Lawrence, right? First pick of the draft last year. Only had 12 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Uh, was in a terrible structure out there in Jacksonville with Urban Meyer. You know, this year they went after Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, Brandon Sheriff on that offensive line now. I think he's going to have some pieces. Travis Etienne is coming back from injury. So I think Trevor Lawrence, man, he is a big time talent. I think he might throw for over 4,000 yards, but my play for Trevor Lawrence is over 21 and a half touchdowns at minus 125. How about Elijah Moore? You know, Elijah, I really like this guy. Very savvy. Really, really good route runner. Kind of played like a veteran last year. The moment wasn't too big for him. I think he might lead the New York Jets in receptions. And I know they got Garrett Wilson in the draft. I like Elijah Moore a whole lot. Okay, so he had 43 catches, five touchdowns in only 11 games last year. This year, I think he gets close to 80 receptions. So I'm going over 64 and a half catches for Elijah Moore at minus 125. How about Trey Lance? You know, Trey Lance, obviously... He was the number two quarterback in San Francisco last year, but he did play in six games and he rushed for 168 yards. You know, this guy runs, kind of reminds me a little bit of Cam Newton. This guy is athletic. This guy is strong. And I think he's going to be used similarly to how the Bills use Josh Allen in goal line situations, right? Josh Allen is a very, very good runner. So I think Trey Lance is going to have a solid season, and I think he's going to go over five rushing touchdowns next year at minus 125. We shall see if that happens. Let's talk some defense. How about Jalen Phillips of the Miami Dolphins? You know, Jalen Phillips last year, kind of a raw talent, but he still had eight and, a, eight and a half sacks. The Dolphins, to get to the quarterback, to kind of scheme you up. Right, they were number five in sacks last year. They don't have a very dominant pass rusher, but man, Jalen Phillips looks spry in training camp, doesn't he? He looks fast, he looks strong. I'm excited to see what he does here in year two. I'm gonna go with over eight and a half sacks for Jalen Phillips at plus 100 this year out there in Miami. And also Ramondre Stevenson running back at the New England Patriots. Keep an eye on him, you know, everybody's been complimenting him in Patriots camp. Bill Belichick saying great things about him. Uh, even some rumors that the Patriots were interested in trading Damian Harris, right? Uh, another running back. So in five of the last eight games last year, he rushed for at least 60 yards. He had two 100-yard season, two 100-yard games. He had four rushing touchdowns, and he averaged 4.6 yards per carry on the year. They have a very good offensive line. I don't have a play for you, but I think Ramondre Stevenson goes over a thousand yards this year. And I also want you to keep an eye on two wide receivers: Rondale Moore, 54 catches last year. DeAndre Hopkins will be out for the first six games of the year. You know how good Kyler Murray is, man. If he stays healthy, I think uh, I think this duo could do some damage. And also Rashad Bateman, he is the Ravens' number one receiver. Had 68 catches in only 12 games last year. I think he gets close to maybe 80, 90 catches this year, even though Lamar Jackson does like throwing the ball to the tight end. My play here for Rashad Bateman is over five receiving touchdowns at plus 100. We shall see what happens. And for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to oddshark.com. Talk soon. Bye-bye.